Hello, students. Good evening. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Bye, teacher. And you? I am doing great. Very happy to be here. Very happy to see you. And for sure, to start another class with all of you. Thank you very, very much for sending your audios. I was listening to all of them. Maybe the first day is difficult, but you will see. Hello, Annie. Hello, Alejandro. Hello, Noemi, Iris, Elba, Good evening. Brian. Good evening, Hello, sweetie. Teacher. Sari, Ricardo. Welcome to your class. Well, thank you very much for being here. We are going to Good start. Evening, Good evening, darling. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. It is thank a pleasure you. to have you here. I am very <laughs> happy, very happy to have you here. Very happy to be in this place, in this class with all of you. Okay. How was the experience with the homework? Tell me. How did you feel? Hello, Alejandro. Welcome from Mr. Donut. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Hello. I'm sorry. I am busy. I am very, very late. No, don't worry. It is like I am going to receive the class in Mr. Donut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I was a meeting. Yeah, you know. Oh, okay, so, okay. Yes. But that's nice. That's okay. That you have a different setting, right? That you have a different place yes. to be. It's pretty <laughs> awesome. Yes. Okay, uh, my dear class, how was your experience with the homework? ¿Cómo se sintieron con con la tarea, con la asignación del audio? Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? <laughs> Come on. Why, Noemi? Why? Uh, temor. I felt, uh -huh. I felt afraid, you say. I felt afraid. I felt afraid. But why? Okay. <laughs> uh, I speak English. is muy... Difficult for me. It's very difficult for you. Yes. That's the purpose of the homework. You see? Ese es el propósito número uno de la tarea. Yeah. Sacarlos yeah. de la zona de confort donde dicen, no, nadie yeah. me oye, nadie <laughs> me escucha, aquí estoy bien. No. I, I, yeah. was, I was pushing you out of your comfort zone for you to give yeah. your best, right? And after some examples, I think the first audio was the difficult one. The first one to send the audio was like the, the difficult choice. But then when people were like sending the different audios, you were like, um, yeah, I am feeling more confident. And then the other ones who were sending the audios after that, they were feeling a lot more confident and more fluent and everything. So the idea was completed, right? So. Every single day is going to be a different question. So you are going to be practicing every day, different types of tenses. Some tenses are going to be very simple, like very simple stories in present tense. Maybe I am going to ask you questions about the future and I am going to ask you questions about the past for you to practice all the different forms of English, okay? So uh, thank you for the one that you sent today. We are going to start our class by uh, going to little groups. And on the group, you are going to share a little bit with your friend about the audio that you sent. And if you didn't have the opportunity to send the audio, you are going to talk a little bit about it. What was the question for your audio, people? What was your question? Uh-huh. What do we do for home in a 
what do you do for fun with your family? Right, that was the question. And all of you sent different answers. So right now, I am going to send you to work in trios and you are going to share a little bit of what you said in the audio. So people can start like getting the idea. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, I listened to that one. Yeah, I listened to your audio. Yeah, I listened to you. I remember, okay? You're going to be in groups of three. So all of you are going to have the chance to speak a little bit, right? What do you do for fun with your family? ¿Qué hacen para divertirse en su familia? What do you do for fun? For example, in my family, I love to watch movies with my son. Right? We, we love to watch movies together. We, we do popcorn and things so we can feel like we are at the movies and we share one homework, one video or one movie every afternoon that I am free. So that is or that is like the tradition that we do. And for fun, in some cases we say, let's go out. And then we just go to a place. It doesn't matter where, but we go out. So that's what we do for fun. What do you do for fun with your family? I am going to send you there. Groups of three. You are going to, it's going to be super quick and you are going to have the chance to actually interact with your friends and share what you mentioned on your answer. But now face to face. This is the second level, right? On the audio, you are like, just like, na, 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 on the phone. But it's different when you talk to a person and when you share with someone. Remember, your cameras have to be on all the time. And uh, for you to interact with your friends, thank you very much. And let me see. I am going to make the little groups. There are going to be groups of three. Okay. And we are going to share. What do we do for fun with our family? Thank you for all the cameras. I can see everybody now. Just Nadia and now I can see Nadia now. Noemi and Andrea. I am missing the two of you. So let's go to the groups and let's share a little bit about our answer. Okay. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. Let's join the groups. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Join the groups, please. Thank you. Okay, Ricardo, did you receive the invitation? Yes. Yes, teacher, but I have a problem with my internet. Okay. I will send it again, don't worry. No. There you go. Te la envié de nuevo. Okay. All of them are assigned in the different groups. Hello, buddies, what happened? Me lo sacó de la sala. Yes. Sí. ¿En qué grupo estaba? No se recuerda. No, no. Ok, lo vamos a poner en el 8. There you go. Me lo trajo de vuelta. I don't know I, why, teacher. I don't know. Yes. Yeah, I don't know either. Let's see. Let's try. I'm going to to try again. Okay. There you go. Tal intentemos en esa. Blanquita no le llegó la invitación para los grupos. 
Este, me va a disculpar, teacher, pero si sí, yo sé que yo todavía estoy trabajando, entonces sí. ahora voy a estar como oyente porque no me quiero perder la clase, pero tengo que entregar unos reportes, entonces oh. eh, no voy a poder estar al 100% de clase, pero oh. mañana sí espero estar completamente hasta con cámara encendida. Pero... Ok, Blanquita, ok, I will take into account. <laughs> ok, <laughs> perfecto. <laughs> no, 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 don't worry, don't worry, I totally understand. But I need to go and check how the other groups are doing. And if you want, you can join the group for you to listen to what they are doing, and then I can bring you back. Te puedo unir a un grupo solo para que escuches como qué es lo que están haciendo, qué es lo que comparten, y de ahí te traigo de vuelta, okay? Thank you. Francisco, hello. Hello, hello, good evening. Hello. Hi, they are working in groups. I'm going to send you to a group. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Jesse. They are working in groups right now. I am going to send you to one group for you to work. Okay, teacher, in this moment. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Perfect then. Now they are working together and I am going to go and check how they are doing in the different groups. Time to time. In the same way, we like to watch football nice as a family. For example, of European teams, we all like to visit family on weekends. Finally, we like to go to the cinema to the see films that are of interest to everyone. Those are some activities really for fans. Excuse okay. me, teacher. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. There you go. Okay, thank you. We were like, ah. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you very much for sharing the activities that you do for fun with your family. Okay, in that case, oh, Jessica, you are having the same problem that I had yesterday. Yes, I know. Yeah. Uh, My internet, it, it, it's, it's. I thought it was the internet. Yo ayer creí que era el internet, pero es una actualización de Zoom. Ah, eso es. Entonces, porque sí, justo ayer me salió a darle a actualizar y, uh -huh. y le, tuve, le di a actualizar. Sí, es una, es una actualización. Ahorita, este, si quieres, solo ahorita, si lo se apaga. Me el, queda el, sin, la, sin la pantalla. Ah, no, se puede sí. apagar el, el, el video un ratito y ahí lo vuelve a encender y ahí se quita. Pero ah, sí es una actualización que tiene suma ahí. Un, menos un mal que boxito. para arreglar. <risas> no, no, no. Lo que puede hacer al final de la clase es desinstalarlo y volverlo a instalar. Ah, I, I fixed it like that yesterday. Because yesterday okay. I had this very crazy camera. Okay, so <laughs> okay, thank you. That, that was the trick. So, uh, Elba, did you finish sharing? Yeah. Okay, now Jessica, yes. go ahead. Share what do you do for fun with your family? Um, bueno, I am, good night. I Hello. am Jessica. Uh, usually with my parents in the week, we dinner together. We have dinner together. And we have dinner together. And at the weekend, my sister arrived with his family. With her yes. family. With her family, family. Because it's like my sister, it's a lady, her family. Okay. Okay. My sister arrived with her family. Uh, we... In, okay, aquí sería entonces si tomo el almuerzo, we have lunch. We have lunch, ajá. Uh -huh. okay, okay, tengo que agregar entonces ahí, have. We have lunch, yes. Okay. We have lunch fast food or pupusas uh, okay. in the dinner. We have fast food for lunch or uh, pupusas have, for dinner. Okay. 
we have fast food lunch for lunch or for lunch uh, or pupusas in the dinner very good very good we share in house and Think. play with his no her daughters exactly okay uh, sometimes we go to the church at sunday in the morning on sunday Only morning right. on sunday on, morning on sunday in the morning okay we go to church on sunday morning in right morning. remember that on is for the days of the week right uh, so we use on mon on Sunday, on Saturday, on Monday, on Tuesday, right? Very good job. Okay, I am going okay, to bring you. people back to the main room, right? I am going to bring everybody back so we can actually check everybody together, okay? Let's okay, go back. Thank you, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you? Very, very thank you. Very, very thank you. How are you? <laughs> How are you? Hello. Hello, good evening, teacher. <laughs> y ese es el secreto de la eterna juventud. Lo anotaron, ¿verdad? Yeah, I am fun in my life. Which I one, teacher? I was sharing it with you. My microphone was off, but I sh I share okay. it. Sorry, okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Okay. I'm kidding. It is curious when you say like um like uh, hello, good morning, teacher, good morning, teacher, and say how are you. The answer is not very, very. Thank you. It is very well. Thank you. Very um, well. Okay. Thank you. How um, are you? Okay. It was just like... Hay que cantarlo, chicos. <laughs> it, was... <laughs> it, was the, it was the tip, right? It was ah, the okay. tip, right? Bueno, nosotros por la tradición decimos very, very, ay, bien lo digo, very, very thank you. Uy, no, 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 uy, no, no, no. no. Yeah, my, my purpose here is for you not to kill the English language. Okay. Please don't do it, okay? Yeah. Every time that you kill the language, a dictionary dies. Cada vez que pronunciamos mal, se muere un diccionario. So please, don't do it. Okay. okay. Save, save the dictionaries, please. Okay, my dear class. Today, you were having a lot of issues with this exercise in the platform. In some cases, we need to read the instructions first. That's the top thing, okay? In the exercises of the platform, read the instructions first. That is the first thing, okay? It's like, teacher, from now on, I am going to read the instructions first. That's, uh, we have to do the commitment, right? Tenemos que hacer ese, ese pacto. Instructions Entonces, first. El problema es, disculpe que en todos los módulos que hemos tenido, disculpe que al español también, siempre hemos tenido que escribir todo el verso. I y know. Es el verbo. Y por eso es que nosotros aquí teníamos problemas. Yo como right. le mandé también mensaje en privado. No, no it's good. It's good. No, no, no. It's okay. For me, it's perfect because if I can help you, for sure, I am going to do it. Remember, it says here, complete the sentences using the simple present passive forms of the verbs in the brackets. Remember the structure to be in past part. Okay. It is kind of like unclear not to say like don't write everything, right? But the idea here is just to write the verb to be. And how do you know? Teacher, how am I going to know which type of verb to be am I going to use? Is it singular or plural? Okay, that's the first question that you have to make, right? Many crops, is this singular or plural? It's plural. plural. It is plural, right? So you have to use are. Uh, what is the past participle form of grow? Ground. Are grown, Ground. right? In Taiwan. Ground. And that's the only thing that you need to write, right? And in this case, we are using the form of the passive voice in active and passive uh, sentences, right? Many crops are grown in Taiwan, right? Some crops are, it's uh, plural, are, right? Are, are, what is are, the past tense of consume? Because it's a regular cons verb. Consume. 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 Very good, consume. consume. And the next one, other crops, it's plural. 
R. 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 Export R. is a regular verb. Export. 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 Right? Export. 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 Todos los verbos terminados con T y D son ED al final. Exported. Right? Exported. Exported. The next Exported. one. You say rice. Rice is an uncountable oh noun. Rice is an uncountable noun that it's is. singular. So you say rice. Is. Is cultivated. Is cultivated. 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 Right. Cultivated. 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 A wide variety of seafood is called. Okay. Is is called. Very good. Is Why called. is? ¿Por qué le ponemos is a seafood? Because, because you are talking about the group of food, right? You are talking about the whole thing. Right, all the seafood, lobsters, crabs, fish, etc. Right, all the seafood. Don't eat the ocean, people, please. <laughs> what is the past participle of catch? Cut. 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 It's cut. Many people, people, plural or singular? Plural. Plural. Many people are employed. Employed, right? Employed with ED. It's a regular verb. French and English are, 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 are what? Are spoken. 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 spoken in spoken. Canada. Okay. How would you transform this sentence into Spanish? French and English are spoken in Canada. How would you translate that? They... ¿Cómo lo pasaríamos? A español. Mm. Francés y inglés son hablados en Canadá. Ajá. En, ca en Canadá se habla francés e inglés. <ríe> en Canadá se habla francés y inglés, right? El francés y el inglés son hablados en Canadá. What do you say that son hablados en Canadá? It sounds curious, right? In Spanish, and you say like, mm? it sounds mm -hmm. different. But that is the Happy passive food. form of the sentence, right? Mm -hmm. you, you can say, people in Canada speak French and English. Just like that, right? Yes. It's like the active form of the sentence, right? But it's like French and English are spoken in Canada. And that is like, oh, esos lenguajes son hablados en ese país. It's a very like fancy thing, fancy way to do it. Mm -hmm. It is not that you are going to be speaking in passive voice or your life. Maybe you can do it unconsciously, but it is good to review the topics, right? The US, the US in, in general. Is, is, made is, up. Is, is made up is made up of 50 states right a lot of sheep a lot of sheep are raised are raised right raised in new zealand right in new zealand sheep is plural and singular one sheep two sheep three sheep four sheep right the plural of sheep is sheep it doesn't change it's like fish one fish, two fish, three fish, four fish. In which cases do you say fishes? ¿En qué caso va a ocupar la palabra fishes? With the verb, fish. Fishes, mm. interperson. Interperson, yes, but the noun in plural, Sentience. you say fish, one fish, three different two types fish. of fishes, right? Cuando hablamos de especies, de peces diferentes, es fishes, right? But well, yeah, but with different species. Cuando estás hablando de diferentes especies. Pero si son 40 peces revueltos, fish. So, that's, like, that's like a tip. Yes? Okay. Um, when uh, when it's the verbs? Yeah, in that case, fishes, because it's the third person, right? That you change for es. In that case, it's not a plural. Si al verbo le ponemos es, es fishes, right? She fishes at the lake. For example, yes, porque ahí estamos transformando el verbo. Cuando hablamos del nombre, fish, del pescado, el animalito, so in that case, the plural is fish. No cambia. Okay, that's the difference. Ya Nadia, what is your question? Um, teacher, what is the difference between one sheep and uh, several or many sheep? But I don't understand this it, Okay, there is no difference. There is no difference. Esos son los plurales que son excepciones, en el cual la palabra no cambia en plural. Se usa la misma ship para 
singular o plural. ¿Qué le va a dar la respuesta? El número. One sheep, two sheep, many sheep. Okay, you are going to know that you are talking a lot, you are talking a lot about a lot of animals. But the written form is the same. Okay, so there are like many more like this one. Right, and we have a special cases like food and feed, child and children, right, that they have their specific form in the plural. But these cases, for example, like sheep and fish are exceptions right, that you don't change. And the idea is going to be given by the number of animals. Cuando tú uses, ya sea una oveja, dos, tres, cuatro, tú mismo vas a estar dando el número y obviamente ahí vas a hacer como la, la asociación. Pero sheep no cambia. Siempre vas a usar normal sheep. Francisco, what's your question? No solo contarles sobre esa pregunta que yo eh, me comuniqué con inglés corporativo porque antes decía manufactura. Eh, manicure, perdón, y les pregunté qué significaba eso. Disculpe que perdí la cámara un momentito. It's okay. Y lo modificaron, así que solo ese chiste le quería contar. Manufacture. <ríe> Manucatu, manu, permítame, decía manucature. <ríe> It's to catch manually. Cuando cazas con la mano. Yeah. Manufacture. <ríe> no, it's manufacture. Ok, cars and computers, plural, are. Manufacture in Korea, right? And there you go. And there you have all the exercise done just by adding the different verbs, okay? I really like to work on the platform as well, along with you, so you can actually see what's going on with the different exercises. And after we have this here, we are going to go back to our book, right? This specific uh, part of information was given here in your book, right? Why? Because we are using the forms of the passive uh, voice. In the passive voice, you are going to use, for example, uh, the changes of the focus of the sentence. I can say, for example, here, that, uh, the kiss was composed by, and then you can find here, George Bissett, Gustav Klim, Jane Austen, Steven Spielberg, right? Or the Beatles. You are going to tell me, teacher, how am I going to know the answer? Yo, como es la respuesta, teacher? Use the ones that you know first. Vámonos primero por lo que conocemos. And that's going to be easy for you to exclude the other answers. Do you know uh, yesterday, the song? The Beatles. Uh -huh. The Beatles. So, complete answer. Yesterday, all that travel seems so far away. We are going to get like, <laughs> <laughs> we're going to be <laughs> banned because of that. So you say, the song yesterday was recorded by the Beatles. The, Beatles. Beatles. the song Beatles. yesterday was recorded by the Beatles. Or in a normal form of the sentence. ¿Cómo haríamos esta oración en una forma normal? The Beatles recorded the song yesterday. 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 That is the active form of the sentence. The Beatles recorded the song yesterday. A passive form of the sentence. The song yesterday was recorded by the Beatles, Beatles, right? Okay, you focus on the object first and then on the doer, right? Primero es el objeto y después quien realiza la acción. Okay, the next one, Schindler's List. Do you know about this one? Letter yes. E, teacher. Yeah. Was directed by Steven Spielberg. Excellent. Okay, yeah. the film Children's List was directed by, by Steven, Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Give me the active form of this one. Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg. Direct. Uh, Direct. What? The, the film. film. Okay, you got it. Don't doubt. Don't doubt. No duden. Si tienen la respuesta, dele. Okay. Uh, okay. St Steven Spielberg directed the film Children, Children's Schindler's List. Okay, there you go. 
you have the active form of the sentence. What about Pride and Prejudice, the novel? It was composed by Charles Dyson. Okay, listen, is it a novel? The novels are written. So you say, the novel Pride and Prejudice was written by Jane Austen. Give me the active form of the sentence. Jane Austen wrote Pride and Prejudice. Okay. It's like, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there we go. And you say, Jane, Jane Austen wrote Pride and Prejudice. Or Jane Austen wrote the novel Pride and Prejudice. Okay? That's the, that's the active form. And what is the passive form? The novel Pride and Prejudice was written by Jane Austen. In this case, is fue escrita por... And if we use the subject at the beginning, si usamos el sujeto al principio, Jane Austen escribió la novela. Okay? And if we switch to passive, you say, fue escrita por. So that's like the, the change on this type of sentences. What about the opera Carmen? Carmen. Letter A. Yes. Opera Carmen Carmen was composed by George Bison. Okay, it was composed by George Bissett, right? George Bissett. And make it active. George Bissett composed, composed the opera, the opera, the opera, the opera, the opera Carmen. Excellent. What about the kiss? The kiss. The kiss. Was painted, was painted by, 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 by Gustav Klint, right? Gustav Klint. The kiss was painted by Gustav Klint. Very good job. So, how do you make this sentence active? Gustav Klint painted, painted the kiss. Okay, Gustav Klint. Painted the kiss. Painting the kiss. Okay. Excellent. So, in this case, I have here four different examples, right? I have here four different examples of sentences in uh, the different forms of passive and active voice. Let's check them. Here we have, and it says the first one Frederick Bartoldi designed. The Statue of Liberty in 1884. Mm -hmm. How will you transform this sentence? What is the, the object of the sentence? ¿Cuál sería el objeto en este caso del que vamos a hablar? The Statue of Liberty. The of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty, right? The Statue of Liberty. Okay, uh -huh. what happened? What happened to the Statue of Liberty? Was designed. Was designed. It was designed, yes. right? It was designed. Why do you use was? Because we are using passive voice. <laughs> because we are using passive voice. <laughs> because it's singular, right? <laughs> the Statue of Liberty, porque solo estamos hablando de una estatua de la libertad. It's only one, right? The Statue of Liberty was designed. Designed. Was designed by, by, designed by Frederick, Frederick, Frederick Bartoldi in Bartoldi, yeah, like that. Bartoldi in 1884. Okay, 84. there you go. There you go. Right? The Statue of Liberty was designed by Frederick Bartoldi in 1884. There you have the first example. There you have the first exercise. I need you to do the other four. Hagan ustedes los otros cuatro en su cuaderno. Go ahead. I know you can do it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Remember, focus on the object, focus on the action, and then the doer, and then the date.
I know you can do it. And here you go. Ahí les puse ya las cuatro cosas importantes. Whoever has it, let me know. El que ya haya terminado esa, me avisa. And you can send it on the chat. The second, only the second. But right now, the second one, if you finish, you can send it on the chat. Algún voluntario que me lo envíe al chat. And you can have it there. And continue with the other ones, right? Three, four, and five. Okay, remember to keep your cameras on, my dear students, so I can see you working. Thank you very much. Okay, who can help me with number two? ¿Quién me la puede leer? La número dos. Alguien que la haya terminado. Okay, anybody who has finished? Jose Ervin. Radium, radium was discovered. By Mary Curry in 1898. 1898. Very good job, Jose. Very good job. Excellent. Very good job. Radium was discovered by Mary Curry in 1898. Very good job. Number three. Who has number three? Thank you for the ones who send it on the chat. Let's see. No, no, Katia, microphone. Ah, no. <laughs> the rating was discovered by Mary Curie. Okay, estaban regañando a Katie. Sorry, teacher. It's ah, okay. I confused the, <laughs> the camera and the microphone. It's okay, don't worry. Anita, go ahead, number three. Uh, okay. Uh, 100 years of soli solitude. Uh, solitude was... Written by Gabriel Garcia Marquez in 1971. Excellent job. Very good job. Perfect. You can send it on the chat, Annie, please, so everybody can check it. What about number four? Number four, volunteers. The first digital HD TV was produced. Was produced. Uh -huh. Was produced. Uh, in 1991. Very good job, Erika. Fantastic job. <laughs> right? The first digital HD TV was produced by Wu Park. Bake. In, oh, with Bake. <laughs> Sorry, with <Wood> Park. <laughs> I am thinking of the Park. <laughs> in 1991, right? Mm -hmm. Now you know the meaning of HD TV, right? High definition television. Number five. Salma Hayek. About Salma Hayek. Uh -huh. Frida Kahlo. Yes, Frida Kahlo in the movie Frida oh. was played by uh -huh. Salma Hayek Blade. in Blade. 20... Oh. In 2002. You can say in 2002 or in 2002. 2002. Can you can say 2002. It is not very common, but you can say it. It can be 2002 or 2002. Most of the years after 2000 are 2001, 2003, 2022. But there are some people who say 2002, 2022, so 2023. It's up to you. But it was good. Thank you very much. Great job, my dear students. Frida Kahlo in the movie Frida was played by Salma Hayek in 2002. 
tell me when was um let's see when was the independence of el salvador celebrated <laughs> independence of the celebrated september 15 september 15 but in which year 15th in, in which in, year 1921. 1921. 1921. 1921. 1921. 1921. 1921. 1921. 1921. When uh, do you remember uh, who was the main actor of the movie Titanic? Yes. Who was? Was Leonardo DiCaprio. Who was Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay, Leonardo DiCaprio was the main character of Titanic, right? In which year? Like around 2000 or something, right? In 1997. 98, 97, 98, yes. 1998, oh my goodness. Yes, 97, 98. 97, 98. A couple of 1997. Oh my God. You're very young. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I am, I am 38 years old, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it was like, no, pero. <laughs> ya sentí el golpe de señora. Okay. Active voice okay. in the examples that you have here. The active voice of these examples that we have here are the president opened the building in 1931, right? An American architect designed the building, right? And the passive forms, what are the passive forms, people? Can you help me to read? Was opened by the president. What's opened by the president? Opened or opened? Opened. Opened. Uh -huh. opened. opened. Like it was opened by the president. By the president. In? 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 It was, it was, it was designed, designed by, by, an, American by an American architect. architect. It was designed by an American architect. Uh, what do you mean by it? ¿A qué se refiere el it? Como que fue. Al edificio. To the building. Excellent. To the building. Una costa. Yeah, but in this case, in the sentence, you are talking about the building, the, building. Right? the building the building and you say it was opened by the president in 1931 and you say what the building right the building was opened by the president in 1931 okay here we have a couple of sentences as an example with the empire state building right and a couple of facts that we have about the empire Ooh, state building. what is the first fact the empire state building was designed by who by an American architect. By an American architect. What about number two? What is the second fact? Vamos, todo, 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 todo. Go ahead. It was opened by the President of the United States. 1931, right? It was officially opened. What about number three? It is a location in New York City. New York City. It is located in New York City, right? The next one, number four, the construction. The construction of the building. Okay, construction, no. Construction. Construction. The construction of the building, right? Construction. The construction of the building, right? You don't say con, con, construction. No, 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 no. no. The construction of the building took five years. Very good. The next one. It cost. Two million to build. What about number six? 
There are 102 in the building. There are 102 in the building. There are 102. Oh my God. Ay, ay, ay. Miguelito. Miguelito, ¿qué será lo que le hace feedback? Me, me va a dejar sordo, don Miguel. <risa> no, algo, algo tiene encendido que le está haciendo feedback. Está en alguna fiesta. <risa> de, sí, de, de parrandón ahorita. There are 102 floors on the building. Oh, no, in the building, in the right? Building. In, in the, the building, building because they are in inside the building. the building. What about the next one? It is the it tallest, is the tallest, tallest building, building in, the in the world. In the world. Right? It is the tallest building in the it world. The and the last one. one. It was featured, it was featured in, the in the movie King Kong. Kong. It was featured in the movie King Kong. Do you remember the, the big, the big the uh, monkey going up? No, it's not, it was not a monkey. It was a gorilla or, or, a, yeah, gorilla. or something like that. It was a gorilla. Right? It was featured in the movie King Kong. Very good job. Okay, before everything, antes que nada suceda, I'm going to call the attendance. And uh, remember, when you listen to your beautiful name, say here or present, okay? Yeah. And here we go. Okay, 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 okay. The attendance is going to be called by the teacher. Okay, here we go. Or, okay. Alba Colombina. Alvita. Yes, no. Alejandro Jose. Hello, teacher present. Thank you. Alicia Guadalupe. Present. Thank you. Uh, Ana. Present, teacher. Thank you. Andrea Geraldine. Present, teacher. Andrea Michelle. Present, teacher. Blanca Marisol. Present, teacher. Boris Martin. Present, teacher. Brian Isaac. Present. Denis Isaías. Mr. Denis Isaías, a la una. Daisy Carolina. Present teacher. Dian, Diana Elizabeth. Present teacher. Elba Carolina. Present teacher. Eric Ernesto. Eric Ernesto. Okay. Eh, Erika Maidel. Present teacher. Thank you. Francisco Alberto. Good evening teacher. I'm present. Thank you. Iris Regina. Present teacher. Jenny Elizabeth. Present teacher. Jessica Janet. Jessica Janet a la una. Jessica Janet a las dos. Jose Erevin. Present teacher. Juan Eduardo. Teacher, I'm Jessica. Uh, Rest. <laughs> okay, don't worry, don't worry. Thank okay, you. We found you. Don't worry. Katia Graciela. Present teacher. Thank you. Hey, I have means I have no good signal. ¿Quién me puso en el chat? Solo alcanzo a ver el mensaje. Maritza Isabel. Present. Miguel Ángel. Present teacher. Nadia. Nadia. Present teacher. Thank you. Noemi. Present teacher. Ricardo de Jesús. Present teacher. Ronald Antonio. Present teacher. Sara Naidia. Present teacher. M. Vidal. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Eric Ernesto. Just in case I missed it. No. And let me see. Denis Isaías. No, right? Okay, good. And. Teacher, le escriben en el WhatsApp, Dennis. Pre Uy, quiero ver. Present. <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. Thank uh, no, you. Dennis dice, perdón. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. Thank you very much. Okay, I know, I know it's it's hard. In some cases, we have all this bad connection process, but thank God we are done with this. Okay, in any case, people, if I miss, uh, if I miss a spell your name, if I skip your name or something, send me the message in the chat in the moment, right? Teacher, no me mencionó. Teacher me saltó. It's not, it's not going to happen, right? But it, if it happens, 
tell me please tell me okay let's move on here i have a little exercise here on uh, my presentation chan, 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 chan. here it is i have sure. a couple yes may i say something yeah for sure go ahead okay uh, i think that uh, we have to up to date with the building with the bill because uh, the bar khalifa i think in dubai is the Tallest, <laughs> the tallest the building, building in the world in the, in the yes world. yeah this book is a, a little bit uh not up to date <laughs> yeah because now many buildings okay. many buildings are taller than that one and i mean it is it is just amazing to see these huge buildings that you even get busy get dizzy when you see them and you are like huh yeah, it happened to me there in, in the United States when I was in the scholarship that I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was like, ¿Cómo reconoces a un latino en Estados Unidos? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was totally astonished by the, by the beautiful uh, scenarios and the buildings and everything. It is such a beautiful architecture that they have. Well, in this case, people, I need you to help me to read the following sentences and tell me if they are in active voice or in passive voice. Now, we, we saw the difference in the exercises that we did before about the passive voice and the active voice. But if I give this sentence to you, for example, uh, this one says, Shara Goschild sings beautiful songs. Is this active or passive? Active. Yeah, active. Active. How active would you voice. transform this one into passive voice? Beautiful songs. Beautiful songs. Beautiful songs. Ours. 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 What about this one? The sun sets in the west. Is it active, active. or passive? Active. It's active. Active voice. Active. What about active the voice. next yes. one? The boy was being beaten by his teacher. It's passive. 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 It's passive voice, right? Because you yes. have the boy, the action, right, in past, in past form and the verb, yes. and you have a doer in the action by his teacher. What is the meaning of bitten? Do you, do you know the word bitten? Beating. When you hit someone, mm -hmm. do you remember in the old school? Yo creo que más de algunos de ustedes es de mi misma escuela. Right, in yeah. the old school, when the teachers used to get the rule, right? Hmm, the ruler. It's like, what did you mm -hmm. say? Blah, blah, blah. That was a hard time. So he was being beaten by the teacher. It doesn't happen ruler. here anymore, okay? With the ruler, right? Aquí ya no pasa. Okay? Oh, with the ruler, yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah. don't worry, right? Don't worry. It yes. doesn't happen anymore, right? In the hands, teacher. <laughs> I remember that, yes. I will, I will keep it. They, the teacher yeah. used to say, put your hands. And they used to hit you here on the top of the finger. That was so hard. What about the next the next one? Bucky is My helped teacher. by Steve. Passive, passive right? Passive. passive. What about this one? The carpenter is building the desk. Active. 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 If say like the desk, the desk is it's being built. Is built. Is being built, is being built right? It's being built by, by, by the, carpenter. the carpenter. The woodcutter, the woodcutter cut down the tree. Active. 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 Okay. The tree was cut down. Was cut down. By, down. By, by the, the woodcutter. Wood by the woodcutter. Wood Very good. The man dropped his axe into the river. Active. It's active, right? The bird was shot by the naughty boy. Passive. It was passive, right? The bird was shot by the naughty boy. 
It was like, hey, don't do that. What is the meaning of naughty boy? Travieso. Niño travieso, right? Was the naughty boy. The bag was found by me. Passive. It was passive boys. Natasha lost the money. Active. Active, active boys. Active boys. Okay, active. the farmer will plug the field. Active. active boys. Active boys. What is the what is the action of plug? I don't know. You don't know the action of plug? What do you do? What do you do before you put the seed on the field? You have to plug out. You have to plug out the field, right? Van a el acción de abrir los hoyos. ¿Cómo se llama eso? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't grow up. In the, in the, no, I, I didn't. I didn't grow up. I'm didn't sorry. Grow up in it. It's like arar. Arar. How can I say I am citadino teacher? <laughs> I'm sorry. I am an urban boy. Say. Urban boy. Yeah, I am. A urban I am an boy. urban I'm... boy. <laughs> no, yes. I. I. Well, my my grandparents were from the okay. countryside, so I used okay. to go there a lot. Right. Yeah. I, I, I am not okay. very good at, at this thing of trepar cerros y cosas así. No, no. I am not very good on that. <laughs> but, but I know about, about the, this countryside thing, right? It's arar, okay. arar la tierra. Nice. That's the meaning okay. of flow out. The next one, the work will be finished by the workers in a day. Active. It's passive voice. It's passive voice. Passive voice. Yes. The passive work voice. will be finished. Va a estar terminado. Mm -hmm. right. And the next one, the enemy has entered the war zone. Passive. Passive Passive boys. Okay, the enemy has entered the war zone. And who sang the song? Active. That's active, active, right? Who sang the song? And the last one, the children tease the animals. Active boys. It is active, active boys. boys. Very good job. It is active boys. Excellent. So you can see on the examples, they were not really complicated to identify. And once you start doing it, then you start seeing the difference, right? Once you see the difference in the passive and active voice, it's not that big monster that we always imagine, right? Casi siempre cuando están estudiando inglés, les dicen, es que la voz pasiva es difícil, nunca la entiende. It is just a matter of picturing and understanding, right? So before we go in these final minutes that we have, I need to talk and I want to talk about different landmarks. Do you know what is the meaning of landmarks? Not sure. Landmarks. Okay, the landmarks. In El Salvador, we have many. We have many landmarks. And it is that a specific place that makes the country iconic. What is a famous landmark from El Salvador? Salvador del Mundo. Salvador del Mundo. Salvador del Mundo, right? We have one. What is another one? Tazumal. El Tazumal, for sure. My lovely Chalchuapa, right? Producto de calidad. Producto de calidad. <laughs> so, El Tazumal, El Salvador del Mundo. What else? San Andres Ring. San Andres. What else? El no. Tunco Beach. El Tunco Beach. Right, El Tunco Beach is an iconic the different, the different volcano. Okay, the Cuatepeque different. Cuatepeque Lake. Cuatepeque yeah. Lake, right? Lake. The different volcanoes, very good. Volcanoes, volcanoes. The different volcanoes. The different. La Ruta de las Flores. Okay, that that okay. If it is a proper name of the country, you don't change it, right? You say like the La Ruta de las Flores. It's like a very specific uh, landmark of El Salvador, right? But that is for sightseeing, right? Sightseeing is like. The Ruta de las Flores have different stops, right? Where yeah. you can stop, take pictures, eat, uh, drink coffee, etc. So that it's good for sightseeing, okay? La Ruta de las Flores. No sería quizás como una landmark específicamente, pero si es uh, for sightseeing. Es okay. como, okay, I will write it here. Sightseeing. Ataco. Okay, ataco, 
right? A taco, it's another sightseeing for uh, El Salvador. It's a landmark, but a landmark is a place that you can say, no, 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 that one is just the iconic thing to go. In a taco, for example, you have the Albania labyrinth. That is a landmark, okay? Mm. Because you say, Everybody knows it, right? Todo mundo lo conoce. Uh, Albania, Albania is not in uh, in in Apaneca. No, I think it's in Apaneca, right? I think it's in, yes. In that it's area. in Apaneca, Albania. <laughs> it's in that area. Yes. I, I don't go out very often, right? No. <laughs> okay, no problem. But we have here. Monsignor Romero Stump. Exactly, Monsignor Romero Stump. It's another landmark because people who come to visit El Salvador go and see it. Okay, so. We are going to be talking a little bit about different landmarks. And if you can investigate a little bit more about this from our country, it will be perfect for tomorrow's class. Okay, my dear okay. students, we are going to be talking about landmarks. Okay, tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. And that's all for today. I am going to see you tomorrow for your next class. Remember to be pendant of the audio for tomorrow. Thank you very much. You did a fantastic job today. And you can do a better job tomorrow. Have a wonderful night, my dear students. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. See you tomorrow. Thank you. 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 Thank